Good morning and welcome back to Good Day Columbia. Coffee cups up and pinkies out. That's right, we're talking this morning. Listen, I got some books ready I want to share with you this morning. We're talking about the book, Don't Quit, Follow Your Dreams, which offers a private insight into the life of a determined young woman whom even when faced with several different adversities, poverty, divorce, foreclosures, bankruptcy, repossessions, fear, and doubt, did not quit. Rather than quitting, she embraced her purpose in life and pursued it relentlessly without fatigue to no ends and I'm excited to have the author of that book Don't Quit Follow Your Dreams here with me this morning. Good morning to my good friend Solanda Hammond. Good morning. Good morning Jeffrey. How are you this morning? I'm good. Number I'm one good. let me just say this right here. You look <laughs> fierce. Excellent this oh morning. You just look so See this morning that makes me excited for the viewers out there tell them a little bit about this book don't quit follow your dreams where did the inspiration come from um actually came from my life i'm okay. telling a story okay. but not only am i telling a story about my life and how um, i achieved success in the midst of um diversity mm -hmm. adversity mm -hmm. you know i'm telling you how you can do find your purpose and achieve success now let me ask this question because you said that you're talking about your life yeah did you find that to be difficult of course we're going to write it on paper mm -hmm. putting it on paper you're letting it out it's good therapy right yeah, therapeutic. But, <laughs> but what about <laughs> the moment where you know oh god someone's <laughs> going to read this well, like I, I've been telling everybody, it's better for you to get it out right. than someone else to put it out, and it's, inac it's inaccurate information. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was therapeutic. I got it out, you know, and it's more room on the outside than the inside, and hopefully it'll be a blessing to someone else. Wow. Now, Solanda, tell us a little bit about the book. Just give us a little bit of insight into the book. Don't quit, follow mm -hmm. your dreams. You talked about some of the things that happened in your life. Mm -hmm. Share with us, the viewers, some of those things that actually happened to you. Well, I grew up in a poverty area, Winsburg County. Okay. Um, I suffered through divorce. Um, I did nine years in the military, didn't know what I was going to do, wanted to live on purpose, but was afraid. Okay. For so many years, I let fear control my life, and so it left me stagnated. Um, so in the book, I tell people how I overcame that yeah. fear, how I left the Marine Corps to pursue my acting career, but still went and got another job because of fear. So I, I, I tell them how to overcome fear, how to live on purpose, how to take the first step, and how to get about the business of living the best life that you can live. Living the best life now, and, and I think that it's such a beautiful thing. I started mm -hmm. reading the book last night, and Good. one of the things that I found to be very powerful is the fact that as you begin to open the book, you know sometimes mm -hmm. when people begin to open a book, the first thing you do is you gotta read through about two chapters before you really get into it, but from the first chapter, mm -hmm. it kind of captivated me with points that you're trying to make to people to help them understand what it means to live their best life now. What is the biggest challenge that you found being a local author? Of course, uh -huh. you've got Zane, you've got Steve Harvey, yeah. Oprah, everybody and their mom is writing a book. But what is it that challenges you? Because you know there are people out there who want to follow their right. dreams. Their dream may be to write a book. Yeah. What is it that they can do that you can just give them as tips to make sure that they keep going and they don't give up the fight? Tap into the greatness within you. Okay. You know, seek higher counsel. Okay. Meditate. Pray. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> Did I hit oh a nerve? My God. Did I hit a nerve? Did I hit a quickening <laughs> right there. Keep going, honey. You know, and don't give up because there's greatness in you. Just tap it with, you know, tap into it. And you can do any and everything that you truly uh, conceive in your mind, but you've got to put action to it. Wow. So, um, like I said, tap into a higher being. And, and there are no challenges, sure. just life learn lessons. Okay. So not only do you uh, not only do you write books, but uh -huh. you also do hair, because you're looking mighty fierce this morning. Actually, that's my sister that does that's the sister, hair. The sister uh -huh. does the hair, so uh -huh. this is all in the family. Y'all just got talents yeah. and everything going on, and everything is working good. So what's coming up? Where can they get the book from? Our viewers want the book. Where can they go find mm -hmm. this book at? Um, they can find it on my website okay. at suham.com. Okay. That's S-U-E-H-A-M.com. Mm -hmm. Or if they're in a local area in King Street, they can go to the King Street Christian Bookstore. Okay. And it's also on Amazon for Kindle. www.amazon.com. Kindle, I know many <laughs> of you have your Kindles out there. You have your nooks. Go get it. Get your books. It's yes. out there. Sue, we're so glad that mm -hmm. you came in this morning and that you're continuing to inspire people to don't quit, follow your dreams. And as you continue to follow your dreams, follow it and let it get you a little bit of coffee. Coffee cups up. Pinkies out. Good morning. We'll be back on Good Day Columbia.